good morning welcome back to my channel everything business by siri shavarma in today's video we are going to talk about a new technology that is coming up in the e-commerce space and if this technology can be implemented or if this tool can be brought into life here in india this would be a disruptor for the e-commerce industry and this tool or this technology is specifically built in india so we will talk about what this technology is why is the government pushing for this technology and what all features this specific technology will have today we are going to talk about ondc which is the short for open network for digital commerce if you are in the e-commerce space probably you must have heard about this term ondc if you are not in the e-commerce space or probably you don't know too much about digital technologies then you must not have heard about it but in today's video we are going to talk completely about the ondc technology what all factors will become part of the ondc technology how does it matter for the sellers how does it matter for the buyers and why is this unique technology important here in india so let's get started so ondc as i already mentioned is short for open network for digital commerce now specifically this technology has been in the making since the pandemic hit india as you know 2020 has been a very difficult year for e-commerce or e-retailers across the world not just in india but specifically in india we were the worst hit because in india specifically if you look at e-commerce it is not very rampant we still believe in going to the neighborhood kirana store or the general store and buy goods from there now specifically these stores the kirana store and the general store were hugely hit during the pandemic season because of the lockdown that happened in india so when the lockdown started it was um, supposed to be only for 3 months but then it got extended to another 2 months totaling a whole of 5 months which was a huge loss maker for this brick and mortar stores now specifically if we look at the e retail penetration let us talk about some stats regarding why ondc could be a game changer for e commerce here in india if we look at the e retail penetration e retail penetration specifically in india is only 4.3% wherein if we compare it with other countries in china the e retail penetration is around 25% in south korea it is around 26% and uk it is around 23% so when compared to these statistics the e retail penetration in india with only 4.3% seems to be a very very sad figure now specifically if we look at e retail penetration in india as well the 4.3% that we are talking about is just around the metros it is not even getting into the rural penetration because nobody is delivering to the rural areas the people staying in the rural areas still rely on their neighborhood kirana store or the general stores now specifically if we look at the ondc platform as such what is the government planning to build in the ondc platform what all features will be available for the sellers and the buyers um if and what are the limitations of the current e retailers you might be asking me this question or you might be asking this question in your own mind thinking why do we need this all together new technology this all together new platform that we are calling as ondc there are already big retailers out there like amazon flipkart which is specifically india based right but if you look at these platforms these platforms only help the big sellers it makes it easy for the big sellers to be found on these platforms where the small sellers still struggle to make a mark on these specific platforms apart from that the choice of the sellers are very limited specifically these platforms charge anywhere from 15 to 25% as commissions leaving the sellers with not much margins to operate in 
thereby not many sellers want to be part of this big retail chains like amazon or flipkart apart from that e these e retailers if you look specifically at amazon as an example they are also competing in most of the products sold by other sellers which you might feel is unethical but at the end of the day the platform is also trying to make money by itself so the e retailer by itself is competing with the sellers again specifically if we talk about in amazon terms this is called as a buy box so every time amazon plays in the specific space or in the specific product that other sellers are selling on it gets the buy box thereby the chances of other sellers being able to sell their products is going down and that is why india is trying to build its own network or its own technology called as ondc now how will this be different when compared to amazon or flipkart this will be entirely different when compared with amazon or flipkart because ondc will be a network it will not be a platform like amazon or flipkart so what does that entitle so it will be like a network wherein the different um, directories of sellers and buyers would be getting access into the network per se using other tools so this network is also making it easy for people to create different applications both on the buyer side as well as the seller side so all this seems a bit technical right and it seems too complicated so let me explain this with an example for example in this chart as you can see vijay is a buyer he is probably um, searching to buy some atta atta for those of you who don't know is a wheat flour and we use wheat flour to make uh, dough and then chapatis which we consume every single day in india so vijay wants to buy atta for his daily needs now he will enter into the ondc network using a buyer side application so ondc as i already mentioned will be just a directory which will consist of all the sellers informations and then when he searches specifically for atta he enters into the ondc network through a platform of for example paytm or any other upi platform and the search brings up two distinct uh, searches which are very near to his location one is the gupta store and one is a supermarket the gupta store is selling atta for 50 rupees whereas the supermarket is selling the same atta for 150 rupees but the gupta store's 50 rupees atta is without delivery to his home whereas the supermarket's 150 rupees is along with the delivery fees now vijay has two different options he can either choose the gupta store or he can choose the supermarket now if he doesn't want to invest so much money because if you look at the supermarket the supermarket is charging thrice what the gupta store is charging to vijay along with delivery what he can do is he can specifically look at the last mile mobility companies what are the last mile mobility companies that are available in india dunzo could be one of the examples rapido could be one of the other examples swiggy instamart could be another example so he searches for the last mile mobility so somebody can could pick the atta from um, our gupta store and then bring it to vijay's home and that is where he selects dunzo so again when he does this hyper local delivery search he gets two different options danzo does the same delivery for 50 rupees whereas swiggy does it for 70 rupees so he selects danzo wherein the total cost of the atta and finally getting it to his home gets um is being charged at 100 rupees so this is how the ondc network is going to work so as i already mentioned ondc will be just a platform which will connect all of these different players the hyper local delivery companies as well as the supermarkets or the sellers and all of these could be integrated to buyers now if this actually comes into picture if this actually works as the government is expecting it to work what are some of the milestones that the government is expecting this network to achieve
Number one, they are expecting the gross merchandise value, which is GMV, of digital transactions to increase from 4.5 lakh crores to 7.5 lakh crores annually. Number two, retailers, the transactions that retailers will have on this specific platform will be increased from 25 lakhs, which is currently happening with the e-retailers like Amazon and Flipkart to 1.2 crores. Third, Indians using e-commerce currently who are buying online is only at 9 crore rupees. But if ONDC could be implemented, this e-commerce Turnover would increase from 9 crores to 30 crores. So, will we be able to achieve all of these expectations with just this platform ONDC? We still don't know what um, this will be built around, how this will be built around. But this is the example that the government is currently giving. And these are the applications that people are currently building on. There are definitely opportunities for IT companies as well. Because there are multiple locations using which both sellers as well as buyers could log in into ONDC. So if you are a software company, you might definitely have opportunity to build an application either from the buyer side or the seller side. What do you think about ONDC? Is it too big of a dream or is it achievable? Do let me know in the comment section below. This is Sirisha Muthi, founder, chief strategist at Branding by Pixels, a business strategy design and digital marketing company coming live to you from India. If you want to take your business digital and you want my services in it, please do write me a note at Sirisha at the red branding my pixels. That is Sirisha at the red branding my pixels. The email ID will be scrolling in this uh, video. Apart from that, I have created a complete playlist regarding how real estate agents can market their services in this channel, Everything Business by Sirisha Varma. You could also check out that playlist. Apart from that, I'm also creating a full flesh series on how you can export your products if you are a small business owner or if you are into specifically manufacturing segments. So do check out those videos as well. I'll see you again in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if I have added value to you and you want to know many more new upcoming trends in this channel. So I will see you again in my next video. Please do take care. Bye-bye.